Today I'll share with you what a mesh network is, why we chose the Eero Pro 6E, how to set the Eero up, a few of the pros and cons of the Eero device, and please watch to the end, I'll share some of the best practices on how to ensure the best connectivity and the most stable connection in your home. And to save everyone time, I included a timeline in the description to help you jump ahead if you've already seen some of this. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. This is Finding Virtual. We all live in a connected world, and with a growing number of devices, security and control becomes increasingly important. I needed a way to extend Wi-Fi across the home while controlling devices, content, and screen time. The solution was to set up a mesh network, and it's a lot easier than they think. A mesh network is a network where you have more than one router or a router and extender or multiple extenders allowing you to connect to multiple devices. Said another way, you have two or more routers or two or more extenders that expand your network and allow you to connect from the closest possible device. So a mesh network allows you to connect to one network name, one SSID across all the devices that are connected to the mesh. That could be the routers or extenders throughout your home. And as you move throughout the home, it automatically switches from one device to the extender, depending on where you are and where you get the best signal. Our family was looking for a mesh network that would allow us to not only get internet to the corners of the home, we also wanted something that would allow us to manage the devices, the amount of screen time, and what sites these devices were allowed to access. Uh, what I was really excited about Eero and what set them apart was the ability to have profiles uh, that allow us to control every single device. And not only that, um, we can go down and decide how much screen time each of those have, you know, what contents uh, allowed on those devices, uh, much more granular control. So we were really excited when we came across the Eero. Uh, not only does it appear to be something very simple to set up, um, and we'll go through that in a little bit, but it does integrate with the fifth generation Echo Dot. Uh, the fifth generation Echo Dot has the Eero chips in them to act as extenders to the mesh network. Pros of the Eero include it is easy to set up. It only takes a minute. And I'll show you that in a little bit. One argument is that the Eero is app driven. You need a smartphone in order to use it. I personally did not find this to be a major issue. Eero provides a true mesh technology to intelligently route traffic. This ensures good performance. Zigbee and Bluetooth are built in, making it easy to set up smart home devices. It's a cost-effective option for lots of capability. Another great feature is it offers tri-band 6E. What does that mean? Essentially, the router has three separate radio bands to increase availability and reduce network congestion. This product provides 2.4, 5, and the new 6 gigahertz bands. Why is this important? Your faster devices can run on the faster band to ensure higher performance. It's similar to a highway with a fast lane. Your faster devices don't get slowed down by having to share connectivity with slower devices. The Eero 6E Pro also has 2.3 gigabits per second of network speed. In addition to that, it has 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports on the back, which is a nice plus. The one argument that some have made is that there's only two ports, so that would be one in and one out for an external device like a personal computer. If you need more ports, that's easily solved by adding a switch after the Eero. So plug the switch directly into one of Eero's network ports and you'll be off and running. Eero supports up to 100 plus devices. Eero Pro 6E also covers 2,000 square feet. Some have argued 
that that's a little bit limited. However, it is extremely easy to extend the network. I'll show you that with Echo Dots in a little bit. So before we get started on installation, we have a few easy to follow steps here on your starter guide. The first step they tell you to take is download the Eero app for iOS or Android at eero.com slash app. Second, unplug, disconnect your modem and anything connected to it. Step three, begin with the modem unplugged, open the app and follow along. And then they have a four step to discover subscriptions are sold separately. So this is my router and modem. We have AT&T U-verse and you may have something similar or different. So the first step, I'm going to download the app. So I've typed in the web address. I hit enter. It takes me to the site. And I can pick which platform I'm working off of. I'm on an Android myself. If you weren't, you'd use the Apple Store over here. We're going to go to Google Play. And then click install. So after a couple of seconds, a very quick download, I can click open. I open the Eero app. So before I go any further, I want to pay attention to the instructions. It says to unplug. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to do that. Let's come back to the app. And it says You'll have your wireless up and running in minutes. New to Eero, yes I am. Let's click on this. Use my Amazon account. So if you have an Amazon account, it makes it a lot easier, I've heard. Um, I'll go ahead and log in with that. So after I logged in with my Amazon credentials, I can click Start Setup. Here it tells me to make sure I have all of my equipment that was packaged in the box. Now it tells me to unplug my modem, which I've already done. I've already removed all other ethernet cables from my computers in the house. So we're good to go to the next step. Here it tells me to connect my Eero to the ethernet ports. So here I have the ethernet ports. I'll go ahead and connect it to the first one. It doesn't really matter what I connect it to. So the next step, I'm going to pick a port and I'll go ahead and put it into port one on the Eero. Coming back to my screen or the app, I'll hit next. Now essentially tells me to give it power. So let's get the power down. After I plug the adapter into the wall, go ahead and plug power into Eero. I can see the light is flashing white, just like it says here on the app. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna allow it to find the device. So now it's looking for the Euro device, and it essentially says it'll be blinking blue until it's found. Then it'll be solid blue once it's connected. You can see it's blinking blue. So the app now tells me it found the Pro 6E and is connecting to the internet. Okay. So we need to make sure the modem is plugged back in. After your 
Eero syncs to your phone, it's going to need to get its internet connection through the modem. So we'll just go ahead and let this boot back up. So go ahead and try again. And it found the Eero Pro E. And it's now connecting to the internet. So I've finished setup after adding a network name and password. All I have to do is hit the button. And here it's asking to update to the latest software. We'll go ahead and install that. And that's it. Now we are going to add an iPad to the network. Click on settings. Click on Wi-Fi. And you'll see the other networks shows the network I set up. Click on the network name and put in the password. And that's it. We're connected. For your Echo Dot 5s, you'll want to find a place that is far enough away from your router before hooking them up. We've chosen the far end bedroom in our house. First start by plugging it in. It may take a minute or two for it to load. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Next, we'll want to make sure we have the Echo set up. Let's go ahead and open the Eero app. It does recognize my second Echo Dot. Let's go ahead and click on it. It's asking me to check for software updates. Alexa, check for software updates. One moment while I check. There's an update for this device. It will take about 30 minutes to install and I won't be available during this time. Should I go ahead? Yes. Sure, starting the update now. I'll send you a notification when the device is ready. Open Eero. As you can see, the second Echo Dot has been recognized. It has Eero built in and it is currently extending my Wi-Fi. One of the top issues I've read about before choosing the Eero and experienced myself was intermittent connectivity, having to restart the router and the Eero device in order to bring connectivity back. The reason this issue occurred was because we had a Wi-Fi router built into our gateway. The solution is to either bridge the network or in the case of AT&T users, set up pass-through networking. I've included in the description below details and links on how to bridge your network based on which network provider you have. In the case of AT&T and Uverse, which we have, the answer was a little bit different. Uh, make sure that you contact AT&T and work through with technical support setting up a pass-through network. And I would take the extra step to make sure that they turn off the wireless router on your gateway or modem. One of the issues we were experiencing was the wireless router on the gateway was creating conflict with the Eero device. Essentially, we were experiencing network interference on our wireless network. And the solution was to turn off the wireless router capabilities on our gateway. After addressing the gateway issues and setting up pass-through for us, or in your case it may be bridging the network, our connectivity issues went away. If you have any devices or computers that need to hardwire into the Ethernet, or if you choose to connect downstream extenders or Eero routers through Ethernet for higher performance, you're going to want to consider a network switch. I've added some options on recommended network switches in the description below. 
it is ideal to connect all of your peripherals and computers to either the network switch or the extra port on the Eero device. This helps ensure that all your devices and computers are on the same network. For a deeper dive on managing your Eero network, setting up profiles, schedules, DDNS, and granting administrator access on your Eero device, check out the video here. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. That lets us know that you're interested in us providing you more content like this. Thank you for watching Finding Virtual. I'll see you next time. Thank you.